Yo, welcome back to More Manson. It is your boy Manson, man. We back again with another reaction video, guys. Look, man, we got five worst projects in U.S. history, man. You know what I'm saying? I was brought up in the projects. I doubt the projects that I was brought in is on this list because I'm sure we wasn't. It wasn't the worst project and projects in history, but it was. It was the projects. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely the projects. But let's go ahead and check this out, man. Y'all new here? Smash the button, like video. Let's get it. Jordan Downs was built in 1944. It has 700 units and 103 buildings in total ranging from one bedroom to five bedroom apartments. Mm, five. It's completely surrounded by various other hoods and high crime areas. It was originally semi-permanent housing for white war workers, but it converted to a public housing in 1950. It was 100% black by the 1960s. 100% black by the 1960s. Mostly immigrants from the South. It grew a bad reputation quick in the 60s. Many residents were unemployed and relying on welfare. Where are we? We're in the Jordan Down Project. We're in what? We're in extreme poverty. So this is poverty down here. You know, you got like house niggas, you got field niggas. These are field niggas. This is the, where slaves migrated from the south to. And from here is where gangs all started from, which they proclaim. But from here is where people migrated to come into the house district. And these are the projects right here. Our ghettos and, you know, the mindset of illiteracy and... I mean, joblessness. I mean, this is it right here. I mean, broken home families, you know, political corruption, false promises. You know, this is it right here. That's oh, a commercial. It's an ad. Come on. The Watts riots of 65 made it even worse. 232 businesses were destroyed and 632 businesses were damaged. Mm. Considering all types of structures, 242 buildings were destroyed and 644 were damaged. Yes, and after all of the carnage, businesses were reluctant to set up here. This meant there was an influx of alcohol stores and churches, but nothing else to actually help the community. Police were reluctant to patrol the area as well meaning a lot of crime went unchecked. In the 70s, the Grape Street Crips, one of the most notorious and largest Crips sets, set up shop here. They beef with the Nickerson Gardens, home of the Bounty Hunter Bloods, the largest blood set in LA. Many bodies have dropped over the years on both sides. The way I feel, we have no way of else way to uh, it's in our um, frustration out, because we're already at the bottom. You know, what else can we do? If it looks familiar, it's probably because it was heavily featured in Minister Society. Mm. A great choice for the movie because it was the quintessential LA hood full of all the ills that played South Central for years. Ah, that's crazy. It featured in GTA San Andreas as the Willow Field neighborhood as well. Some notable alumni of Jordan Downs include O3 Greedo, Tyrese, and Flojo. Flo Today, Jordan Downs is gradually being destroyed in favor of the new, more appealing apartments. Oh, that's good. These 28 identical, lifeless buildings were built in 1962 Chicago. in Bronzeville on the south side of Chicago. It was the largest project in the country at one time. It was more like a concrete maze and had no trees in sight. Chicago had many segregation laws at the time, and still to this day, one of the most segregated cities in America. Dang. From the jump, things were bad at Robert Taylor. It was built for 11,000, but held 27,000. It soon became one of the top five poorest areas in the country, with mostly single parent households making less than 5,000 a year. Majority of people here had a family member in prison. It was basically a high rise slum and heavily neglected by the city. That meant faulty garbage shoes, broken elevators, and no maintenance. More than that, it was a hub of drug dealing and a home turf with multiple gangs that still exist to this day. Mickey Cobras, GD, and BDs to be GD. exact. Even the police and ambulance were scared to come here. Because once you got inside, it was a maze of dark hallways. Elevators are a common setting for assaults. In fact, a fifth of crimes at Robert Taylor happen to residents while they're coming in and out of their buildings. It was the worst in the 70s. And in one weekend, there was 300 shootings around Robert Taylor, and 28 people were killed. If you got a gun and, that, and that's the only way you, you, you can fight me is by a gun, then I have to, hey, you ain't no man, but I'm gonna have to fight your way in order to protect what's mine. You know, ain't it's no like way. It's the environment in which we live, man. You know, you, I don't care whether you with a group of people or you by yourself. You always have to keep your guards on, man, because you don't know 
when temptation is lurking around the corner for uh you know for you for your number to come up, you know. <laughs> hey, that's all, that's you see what I do? I, I don't bother nobody. I don't want nobody bother me. But uh, they do know that I I can't play their game. Uh, I'm quite sure of that, bro. <laughs> see, that's the thing that 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 worries me, man. You can't be fair out here, man. Yeah. You have to play by their rules. If you don't, then you lost out. There's a few notorious cases from here too. October 76, 22-year-old Denise Dozier thrown from the 15th floor apartment window. She survived. Because of this, the city built fences to enclose the balconies, and the project looked more like an asylum than homes. Oh my God. On August 91, Officer Jimmy Haynes was shot by a sniper. He died two days later. Some famous faces were able to make it out of here. Mr. T, Corey Holcomb, Kenny Duckworth, Open Mike Eagle, all hell from Robert Kendrick Taylor Holmes. Kendrick even raps about this briefly on this song, Duckworth, describing his father's story. He raps. He came from the streets, the Robert Taylor Holmes, Southside Project, Chirac, the Terror Dome. Mm. Currently, the city moved out all of the residents by 2005. And it was completely demolished by 2007. This north side of Chicago project was home to 15,000 and was the largest housing project on the whole planet at one point. Ironically, it was on the richest side of town, built right in between the richest neighborhoods in Chicago. Lincoln Park and the Gold Coast and less than a mile from Michigan Ave. The particular area was built on had always been associated with poverty starting with Swedish immigrants, then Irish, and then black immigrants. A 1900s map of the area depicts this accurately. Cabrini Green became the poster child for everything wrong with the public housing system. It was literally the poorest zip code in the U.S. The city was strapped for cash, or even the lawns were paved over to save on maintenance money. New buildings were built on tight budgets and had poor quality. It was rat and cockroach infested and had garbage hey. stuck in the trash chute and all the way to the 15th floor. There was graffiti inside the actual buildings, and each building was controlled by different gangs. Gangs even controlled the elevators, mm -hmm. and you never knew what to expect once the elevator doors opened. Larry, Larry Hoover. Do the gangs control the elevators? Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they can control them. At one time, they, uh, matter of fact, they were hiding. They were hiding up here. And if a young lady got on the elevator, jumped out and, you know, did what they wanted to do to her. They used to hide guns up there. <laughs> This is uh, 11. That's 11? Right. Okay. It's pretty dark out there. Yeah. yeah. You see, that's another thing about these elevators. Because you never know what's, what's going to happen when the door opens. The balconies were fenced in to stop people from dumping trash into the yard. It looked more like a prison block on animal cages than housing for people. To top it off, gang members would celebrate New Year's by firing guns in the air. As far as the stats go, it wasn't uncommon for 200 people shot or stabbed every year. In fact, during a 90s documentary on the crime here, someone was stabbed and died minutes later during the actual filming. The incident itself wasn't caught on camera, but the sad moments that followed were. The link to that video is in the description. Some of the most high-profile cases out of Cabrini like Green up at GD. the case of Girl X, which gave Cabrini Green national media attention due to the severity of the crime. Another famous incident was Mayor Jane Byrne moving into the projects to show that Chicago's crime rate wasn't so bad. Yes. She only lasted three weeks. Some famous people that made it out of here are Curtis Mayfield and Polo wow. G, who grew up Polo in the nearby G. Marshall Projects. The Good Times TV show was based here, and it also served as inspiration for both Candyman movies. It also featured in Kanye West's Homecoming video. Mm. Currently, it was demolished in 2011, and only two buildings remain. It looks nothing like it used to now. Located in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, the Marcy houses were built a few years after World War II in 1949. These 27 six-story buildings with 1,700 apartments hold 4,000 residents, brought to fame by rapper Jay-Z who has described the homes as a block away from hell, the place where the news cameras never come. One frequent visitor to the projects, however, is the NYPD. Gang disputes are common here, and the gangs have evolved over the years as well, and residents often hear the crack of bullets. In 2014, four teenagers were shot and one killed in the Marcy houses due to turf wars. Crack hit the Marcy houses hard in the 80s like the rest of the inner cities in America. Many young children sold crack to take care of themselves because a lot of their parents turned into crack fiends. Jay-Z himself admits to selling crack in Marcy as a teenager. 
he almost lost his life on multiple occasions. To make Marcy's situation worse, on December 20th, 2015, two police officers were shot and killed a block from the Marcy homes. Since the shooting, police have been scarce in Marcy. New Orleans is a city that is rich in culture. The city is often associated with jazz and good culinary scene. However, the city has also a much grimier side to it, one that's a lot less tourist friendly. New Orleans has a reputation for being one of the murder capitals of the U.S. The Magnolia Projects, also known as the C.J. Peak Projects, was known countrywide for its high murder and crime rate. New Orleans rapper Juvenile described the project as a haven for drug dealing and violent crime. In a song, he described it like this. On New Year's, lights get shot out at 6 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, you're going to be getting shot. The trials and tribulations inspired many Magnolias to make it out. Several of the rap gang's big names were born and raised in the Magnolia Projects and shared their struggles through their music. Artists like Birdman, Juvenile, and Turk all hail from Magnolia. A young female rapper nicknamed Magnolia Shorty was one of the many victims of the violence that plagued Magnolia. The rapper was shot to death in 2010 in her car not far from Magnolia. Two men pulled into the apartment parking lot right after she got home and unloaded into her car. Mm. She was hit 26 times. Dang. Her murder still remains unsolved. After Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005, nearly 600 people were evacuated from Magnolia and it became a ghost town. In 2008, they were completely demolished and replaced by a new housing development called Harmony Oaks. Harmony Oaks. I wonder who resides in Harmony Oaks now. Is it, you know, is it still black folks or what is it? Look, man, comment down y'all below y'all's thoughts on the five worst projects in U.S. history. I'm definitely surprised to see, uh, not see as, you know what I'm saying, the projects from Detroit. Uh, I'm surprised and I see one from places like Atlanta, Detroit, you know what I'm saying, places like that. But look, comment down below y'all's thoughts, man. I hope you guys enjoy my hands. Copy there. Special like, subscribe, 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 sub